Thanks for checking out Guardians of the Green Beret. Today we present Tim Evans. He also goes by the name of Robert or Bob. He was sent to us a couple weeks ago and we knew immediately he was a fraud, but we had to wait and get records back. He claimed to be a Sergeant First Class, Ranger, Green Beret, Combat Infantry Badge, and all of it's fake. He didn't even complete AIT. Here is two phone calls we had with him. The first one, he got a little bit salty and hung up on us. We <clears throat> called him back, left a message that he should probably get in front of this before it snowballs on him, and he agreed to take a second phone call. So without further ado, Tim Evans. Hey, Tim, we're getting ready to finish up this article on the VFW and was wondering if you can make some comments. Okay. All right. Who is it? Guardians of the Green Beret. Oh, okay. Now, I don't know how we're going to mention your record in the article, so be careful how you answer these I questions. Just don't. What's that? Okay, just don't. Okay. Just don't. It's uh, an embarrassment to me because I had a stepdaughter accuse me because I grounded her. Okay. Well, I need to take everything you say with a grain of salt because do you realize on your uniform you're wearing the Kuwait Liberation Ribbon upside down? No, I didn't. I didn't realize it was upside down. I've got a bad eye. I had an eye replaced. Okay. When did you go through Special Forces training? Back in, let's see. 89. Okay. How many phases was it, and where was it at? It was four phases. It was at Fort Rucker. Okay. Now, I would ask that you come clean and admit that that's a lie and everything you're wearing is fake, because I actually have your Idaho... What's that? Why is that? Well, I actually have your legit Idaho National Guard records. You spent two years and 15 days in the Guard and never completed AIT. And we have access to the schoolhouse. SF training is actually in North Carolina at Camp McCall, not Rucker. However, we did check the schoolhouse. We checked what's called ATARs. We checked SCARA. And we checked the VA. And <laughs> and he got mad. So after he hung up on us, we left a message that it might be better he gets in front of this before it snows balls. And after further thought, he took a second call, which follows here. Hello. Hey, Tim. Uh, you want to talk right then? Sure. Hey, I want you to admit you're not a dick. Tell me how I did for the VFW badge I'm done. Okay, I appreciate that, but why did you pretend to be a Green Beret? You wouldn't understand if I told you. I sure would. Hey, I sure would. You get, get that from me the hell away. I hear these. Is that guy you talked to about why I left and picked up flying people or I don't need to do it again? Just tell me why you pretended to be one of us and we'll leave it at that. You'd be surprised what I understand, okay? What's that? Not to get disrespected, okay? I tried to do good. That's all I did. All I did was I tried. I had the man try to promote me after he did three different things. And he wanted me to do three different things, and I tried to help. Well, could you have done that? Well, you really didn't even qualify to be in the VFW. Did, how did you get in the VFW? I just resigned. I just resigned. I'm done. I know, but how, how did you even become a member? What difference does it make now? What difference does it make, really? Well, I'm just saying it's, uh, those, those questions run around in my head, and I'm just trying to figure out why. Well, you had very little to grab onto here, a whole lot to anything, and you have nothing, okay? Yep. Well, okay, that's... I didn't do anything under the blood because I had a copy 
I think I got it like I said, I'm a customer. I'm running with 19 and 20 year old men. Yep, and they ruined my life. Okay. Well, this, this is a written guy. I hope once it gets out that you were a fake Green Beret and you did two years as a PV2 in the guard. What unit were you in there? A cab unit? The 116? Well, I'm just trying to get the, uh, full contrition. It always looks bad. I got a full contrition. I got it. Well, we have to have a Christian alert. Had we not exposed your lie, you would still be a commander in Green Beret in your post today and tomorrow and a week from now. And I would be doing that because I was, I was just a lot of grace. Because I post. I was organized, you know, they'd say, go spread everything that needs to be done. All right, well, well, we'll go with what we have then. And I'll send you a link when the article's up, or you'll probably just see it in the paper. So, all right, thanks for taking the follow-up call. Now you could go to guardiansofthegreenberet.com and see the article on him, along with all the other fake frauds and phonies we've exposed over the years. Uh, side note, everything we used uh, falls under fair use doctrine. Many aspects of the fair use doctrine, both he and us, reside in a one-party consent state. Everything is legal and justified. We have every right to correct this lie out here.